right, here we go. All right. Hello, this is Joe Catalano coming at you from Just Velocity Studios on behalf of Mitra 9's ongoing podcast series. We discuss Kava, Kratom, business and community. And today we have a special guest, CC Mirage, who has some, he's, she's a former podcaster. She is a model and an actor, a mom, and she's crazy about health and fitness. We're going to find out about her today. Well, CC. hello. I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much, Joe. And um, today we are also sipping on Mitra 9, which is a really great product. We'll get into that a little bit later. So, um, Joe, what's going on? Well, um, as you know, this is my first time behind the mic as the uh, person with all the questions. So um, it's a little, little um, interesting for me. But, uh, you know, knowing that, um, we know that you uh, did a podcast yes. uh, back in the day. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, you know, what the name was and what the topic was that you dealt with? Yes. So the name was the Michael and Cian show, which aired like right before COVID. We had 10 episodes and it was mainly about real life issues in America. So um, that was very important for us to talk about. And I kind of want to get back into that since a lot of people now, they, um, you know, want to change their lives for the better by uh, eating healthy, drinking healthy. So that's kind of why I'm here and where we're at, where we are at. Excellent. That sounds amazing. So um, what were some of the challenges you had during uh, your podcast days? Um, honestly, <laughs> um, there wasn't too many challenges for me because it, you know, I fell right into it. Like I love talking and I love connecting with people and making people, um, you know, feel important and also, um, comfortable, comfortable knowing that like if they're going through something, they can relate and we can figure it out. Excellent. Well, your podcast was on a great topic. Um, did you, do you have a podcast that like sticks out in your mind as like just something amazing that you could listen to over and over? Yes, actually, it's not a happy one, to be honest with you. But my most important topic was suicide awareness in America. Um, a lot of people get uncomfortable, sensitive when talking about stuff like that, but it's really important to put it out there and what we can do about it. That's a great one. You know, it, it hits my heart. I just met a gentleman this week who is a former military um, gentleman who was the only survivor in an explosion. Mm -hmm. And um, he expressed some of his, you know, survival guilt and some of the challenges that it um, brings to his life, his wife, his relationship with his wife and his kids, um, but also felt that um, he didn't deserve to live. Like, why did he survive and has contemplated suicide? Wow. So, um, you know, that's an important uh, topic. I don't think it's discussed enough. And uh, that's amazing that you were, hopefully it fell on the right ears. And without you knowing, you probably saved some lives with that, comp with that podcast. Thank you, and I hope so, and I really appreciate you elaborating on that. Excellent. So, um, modeling and acting. So what inspired you to sort of get into that area? Well, it started <laughs> a very long time ago. Yeah. I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> so um, my interest started about um, nearly 20 years ago, and things were very different back then. And it really started with people telling me like, oh, you have a look, you should try it. And I'm like, okay, I'm interested. I'm open to trying different things. And that's kind of how I got into it. But I more so fell into the love of acting because I can um, escape like my own reality in that moment and be somebody else. Excellent. So in the acting realm, since that's sort of where you want to be, um, what was your greatest achievement? Um, what has been your greatest achievement since being in the acting arena? So um, you're like really tickling my fanny here. Okay. <laughs> so um, actually I've done like several big projects in the past, but my favorite one was a suicide promotional video that I've done um, like about a year and a half ago. 
and um, it's still on YouTube, but that one hit home for me because um, I lost a family member like nearly eight years ago to suicide. And I thought it was so important for that video to be out there for people to see it, understand it and think about other people in their lives or even themselves. Like if they're having a moment where they're depressed or a bad day, not to um, keep it inside, you know, reach out to somebody, talk to somebody. Don't be um, afraid or shy that you're going through something. So, um, sorry, um, what is some advice you have for anyone that might be looking into modeling and acting? So it is um, a very competitive industry, to be honest with you, not so much um, with modeling, but the most important thing is to um, get signed with a really good, reputable modeling and talent agency. Um, please don't try to represent yourself if you're not um, familiar with the industry because there are a lot of con artists out there, to be honest with you, people that just make random posts on, um, you know, Craigslist or something like that. And, you know, a lot of people that are young and not new to the industry, they can fall into, um, you know, making mistakes of, oh, here's my phone number and let's just do business without actually knowing the business. So in your experience, um, did you ever have an opportunity um, that arose where maybe you felt like this wasn't the right per person for you and you had to make certain decisions to protect yourself? Oh, definitely, especially um, nearly 20 years ago where things were different. Um, it was more like hands-on. Um, you know, the whole digital industry wasn't what it is today. So um, there was many times where I would get approached by, you know, freelance photographers or freelance agents. And I didn't really realize in the beginning they have to have like the agency number, um, what are their credentials, until I found um, a couple of really good agencies and I stuck with that. Excellent. So what was it about those really good agencies that stuck out? So maybe someone that is looking for an agent could sort of look for? Did they have special details about them that helped you make the, the right decisions? Definitely. So there are so many out there, as you know, but um, most importantly, beginning for beginners, um, a non-exclusive agency so they can work with, the talent can work with multiple agencies, unless if they get a big contract with um, a big company. But um, that's, one of the most important things for me, also the agency license and um, their credentials, like who have they worked with, you know, like certain companies are bigger than others, you know, so that's a big, um, important question to ask as well. Excellent. Very important because with the um, presence of human trafficking and so many other terrible things that are happening, this the acting and modeling community can be a very um, unsafe oh, definitely. arena for young, young men and women um, because of that. Yes. Did you ever experience or know of anybody that may have um, had a really bad experience? Um, yes, um, not to that extreme, thank God, but um, there was moments, like I said, even for myself where I've been approached by freelance agents, photographers that try to, um, you know, get money out of me, scam me. But, um, you know, if they're, they're not licensed, if you're not signing a model release for each job, it's not reputable at all. Never um, just go straight in. Here's my phone number. Here's my point of contact and, and do it yourself. Great. Yeah, that's a lot of great information. I think, um, most people don't do the research that they need, with, regardless of what industry they're trying to get into and can fall victims. Hopefully this falls on some ears that will um, take your advice and, and be safe and have some uh, prosperous modeling and acting careers. So um, we did speak a little bit before the podcast, and I understand that your acting and modeling has been on a hiatus for a little bit. Yes. Can you tell me about, like, where is it going? And what could we expect from you in the future? Okay, so um, as of right now, I'm kind of um, transitioning um, 
out of hiding. <laughs> well, um, just transitioning, transitioning into like a new beginning. So throughout the 20 years that I've been in this industry, I've been kind of in and out because I am a mother of two daughters and I took a little break mainly because of them and getting back into it. I'm kind of revamping, rebranding myself and fitness is like the number one thing for me. Um, outreach to the community people to let them know um, how to get started. Um, so whether you're interested in modeling and acting or just, um, you know, fitness, health, uh, we're going to cover that. Excellent. So, um, yeah, we look forward to seeing uh, your career progress and uh, hopefully we stay in Thank touch you. and we could have you back when, when things are really prospering for you. Thank you so much. Um, you mentioned that you have two little girls. Tell us a little bit about them. Okay, well, they're a handful. <laughs> so um, my advice is don't do the back-to-back. -back. <laughs> they're 18 months apart, and um, it is a handful, but I love motherhood. You know, like children will give you more purpose, meaning, and drive to go further because you're being a role model to them. So every day I get motivation from just waking up with them looking at me. I know that I have to push myself further and show them, like, if I can do it, you can do it. So that's the thing. So many people miss out on their opportunities or their dreams just die and fizzle away um, because they have children. So what is it? What's what's different for you? And, and what are you doing to um, make this opportunity work for you, knowing that you have two young girls? Well, thankfully, my girls are getting bigger. They're at the age where they can take care of themselves for the most part. So I'm solid in knowing that, um, you know what, I did my part as far as being there for them. I'm still there for them. But um, I have the opportunity to kind of work on myself a little bit more and also include them in certain projects as well. Excellent. They must love that. Yes. So um, do you see either one of them or both? sort of following in your footsteps? Definitely. So my little one, she's 10 years old, and she's already done like a couple little commercials. Oh. Um, yeah, she's been luck lucky because she got directly booked on a commercial with just her look. So with children, um, it's less competition okay. when it comes to this industry. So it's a little bit um, easier for them. But yeah, they, you know, I'm, I'm just taking it kind of one step at a time and not putting too much pressure. Um, the most important thing as a parent is to um, allow your children to have a voice. So if they ever said to me, mommy, I don't want to do this. I'm not interested. I'm not going to push them. I'm not that parent. Respecting. Yes. Their, um, sorry about that. But yeah, res respecting the ability to make decisions for themselves, whether they're yes. tired or it's just not the direction they want to go in. That's excellent. Yeah, that's Thank that's you. amazing. You know, and I, I can see, you know, who knows, maybe someday you and your girls will be on a project together. Like, how would that I feel for you? So, um, it would be exciting. It's different. You know, it's very different because in this industry, being, you know, doing certain things, whether it's a commercial or a print ad, um, you know, your mindset has to change when you're on set. So even though, you know, if that opportunity arises where we are on set together internally, I would feel pleased, excited, satisfied, but I'll still respect the pro professional side of it. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, one, one last question on the um, modeling and acting. Um, right now, from the top of your head, if you could pick a job or something to, to be happening for you right now, what would that be? Um, to be honest with you, I, I did have a really big opportunity that I had to turn down because of my living situation. I've got to be local to the 239 right now, but um, I love radio and podcast, so I'm kind of working on getting back into that full time or at least um, having my own show again. That's amazing. So you you could be doing this as a, as a profession. I hope so. <laughs> That's great. So we know you, you, you've done a lot. You're a mom. But in the little bit that I've known you, health and fitness is really what's driving you at this point. 
Definitely. Yeah. So, um, you know, um, what inspired you to get into in, into health and fitness? So I've got to be honest with you. Um, my little girl, she told me um, about four months ago, we woke up and she said, Mommy, you look like an avocado. And okay. I said, <laughs> um, I said, okay, I need to make a change because I fell off of taking care of myself. And I said, okay, I'm going to um, go to the women's gym and I'm going to start back. I'm not going to delay another day. So um, when your own kids kind of come to you and tell you something, regardless if it's funny, not funny, but they're speaking the truth, you realize like, okay, I have to do something because they're, they're seeing me in this direction and I want them to see me in a healthy direction. So would you say being um, called an avocado is um, part of the motivation that um, is keeping you going? <laughs> well, it was because yeah. um, even like I said, it was funny, but I know what she meant by that. And both of my children are very um, physically fit in school and doing, you know, activities. And I can't be a good parent and keep up with them if I'm not right, healthy and physically fit. So, so that made me get very motivated. It's so hard nowadays with the, uh, the fast food and the uh, food availability at any hour of the day right. um, to maintain a healthy diet. Um, so I think it's important. Um, what is what is your favorite exercise, or what do you what's your go to uh, activity to keep you and get you in shape? Well, um, I I've loved the gym because um, both of my trainers are bodybuilders, so everything is with weight. You know, they're always telling me add a plate, add a plate, and challenging me, which I love because you get a quick result. You have to challenge your body, and it is challenging your mind as well because your mind is telling you, oh no, that's too heavy. I'm tired. I can't do it. But, you know, if you push yourself, you can do it. So in the gym, um, I love to use the leg press. Yeah. You know, you kind of get used to it. Um, sumo squats, anything with squats to make your legs look good. I'm kind yeah. of that's where I'm at in the gym. And at home, um, I use my kids as weight. I yeah. work out with them. I have my little one jump on me, and I'm doing squats with her weight. I remember doing that when mm -hmm. my kids were, were younger. Um, yeah. My daughter would sit on my back while I did push-ups. And right. it made it fun. It got them involved. Exactly. And uh, it helped me, helped me build my arms and chest a little bit. Right. Yeah. Um, so when it comes to nutrition, um, what information or what type of advice can you give to someone who may be struggles with like sugar addiction or um, just the love of eating and like how could you help someone that may be struggling a little bit when it comes to nutrition? Well the most important thing is to um, take out time for yourself you know like every single day like make it a, a new habit to um, you know read a book or even just think about like what is my goals what is my plans for tomorrow the next day you know, little things will help change that and do it in pieces, like a transition. That's how I was able to get to the point where I'm at. I didn't do it in one shot or cold turkey. I took day by day thinking about like a breakdown, like what um, is making me feel down or I can't handle every day. So even with dieting, like change like your nutrition in pieces. Every time you go to the grocery store, instead of, um, you know, like fried food or chips, bake chips, you know, you can alternate. Excellent. So, yeah, you touched on a, on a lot of things that um, I find important too, not just in nutrition, but in life. Um, there's a visual that I often look at, and it shows um, this gap of land. It's a big hole. And when you look at it, it's like to cross it, it's almost impossible. Right. Because it's, it's the distance is too far. But as you said do it in little pieces and yeah. you're able to cross and shorten that distance till you finally make it to the other side Absolutely. to success. So yeah. uh, sometimes, you know, just, just, just adding a small picture, you know, right. that you look at every day could um, potentially mm -hmm. drive you to success. Absolutely. So with everything you do, you don't have any stress in your life, do you? Um, well, <laughs> life can throw some weird things at us sometimes. Yeah. So, you know, I, I just, 
think about it in a different way, you know, like turn everything negative into a positive, you know, or even for me, like my little motto every single day, if something, you know, um, ugly pops up, I say to myself, this is temporary. It will change. And it is. Right. So little things can, you know, make your mindset different. That's where it all starts is your mindset. Absolutely. So um, when you first got here, uh, we did something a little different. Um, tell the audience, um, you know, what we did and, and how it's affected you since, um, since we um, came into the podcast room. So we all had a uh, bua downstairs, and this is actually really tasty. I love it. And it's giving me like um, a natural mini high, you know, like it, I'm just calmed down. I'm really hyper, but in a calm way, you know, it has a little tingly feeling in your mouth and it's, um, you know, a healthy drink, a healthy beverage. So you, f you find that it's sort of boosted your mood a little bit and reduced a, a little bit of your anxiety? Yes, definitely. Absolutely. So what's the other, what's the can that's in front of you? So the uh, Mitra 9, this is actually really good. I don't like, I don't usually like carbonated products, but it's very lightly carbonated. It's light and refreshing, so it's not heavy um, on the palate at all. Like you can, you know, go to the gym drink this. Anytime you can drink this. It's really good. So tell us a little bit more about it. Earlier, you were really like getting into some um, information on it. Um, so um, the first time I saw this can, which was not too long ago, um, I thought, you know what, this is a pretty product. It's a pretty can, but does it taste good? And it actually does. So it matches the look. <laughs> right. So you would recommend it oh, to definitely. friends and family? Yes. Yep. Wonderful. And um, you'll have a four pack in your refrigerator all the time. So you this have a go to my, drink. I was just yeah. about to say, this yeah. is my new yeah. go to drink. It looks good and it tastes good. That's awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank and you, Joe. we've learned a lot. We've touched Thank on a lot of different topics from, um, you know, podcasting to uh, suicide yes. to um, being a mom and. Um, working through the struggles yes. um, to advance your career while you are being while you are a mom, um, to you know exercise and nutrition and things like that, and um, the beginning of the reinvention and yes. movement of your acting and modeling career. Thank you. Um, so tell us a little bit about um, about how we can find you and get in touch with you if we wanted to talk to you more or find out more about where your career is going and. Thank things you. like that. So you can find me on social media. I have um, a new page that's kind of a little bare right now. So you can find me at your promo pro 3000 and the real CC Mirage. So that is the T H E R E E L C E E M I R A G E. And one last thing. Sorry, that was long. <laughs> that's okay. Um, you're more than welcome Thank into you. our podcast room any, anytime. And um, maybe we can help uh, get your podcast career going awesome. and um, work together. We have, a, we have a great staff, and it was a pleasure. Thank I you. think you would do great with us. Thank you so much, yeah. Joe, for having me. And, guys, please try this. It is really good. <laughs> Absolutely.